Scratch Division title match back here at Texas Station. It's Harley Swagger taking on Sorel Cardino. Harley's screen on the uh, right there, you can see he's got 75 through 5th in a fairly low scoring title match. It means he trails by 11 as Sorel also failed to double in the first half of the game but now has a double working in the 6th and 7th. So it's a very big shot for Harley also working on a double. Cures it on the left hand lane and each uh, trails by only one pin with that strike. Interesting pattern today. You had mistake room to the outside, but at the end, if you missed inside, it floated and you left things like buckets, 2A10s, and things of that nature all day long. Let's see if that plays into a, the proceedings here in the second half of the title match. Sorrell is runner up in the U17 division already today. Leading by one. But his opponent's got a three-bagger, so this is a key shot. No! And all that power just destroys that rack at the back end. Those two-handed bowlers, when they come in light, and that kind of entry angle, they're going to shred the rack a large majority of the time. Handicap division just getting started. Devin Padalina is taking on first-time finalist Matthew Huckabee for the title. That's a first frame shot over there for Devin. And these guys are in the night, so we'll focus on Sorrell and Harley here for a little while. And re-extend the 21 pins if he can make it four in a row in the ninth. And he's got to feel, though, like he's got a strike here to keep maximum pressure on Harley, who's having a heck of a season. Posts it. So you're seeing some pretty sharp angles out of the uh, Rev Raid bowlers today. They want to get it out fast and early. Sorrell does not want to miss left. Harley does not want to miss right. Let's see if he gets this ball out to the left fairly early. He does. And you see the difference there is that just comes roaring back and sucks that seven pin right off the deck. They both got four baggers heading into the tenth. But it's Swagger with the two splits, two trails. The 3-7-9 in the fifth frame, so far really the difference in this match. Harley and Nick Devlin having a heck of a go at each other so far this season is they've been trading off the lead between the two of them in titles. Right now it's Nick at 17 titles. Harley one behind at 16. He'd like to change that in the next couple minutes here. Obviously cannot shut out Sorrell. Let's put maximum pressure on here. Oh. You'll see when you watch this tape back that he started that ball further to the right than the previous shot. So even though he gave it a little bit of belly, it never got far enough left to grab, grab the friction early enough. The results a light hit tank as opposed to a, a light hit carry. And now Sorrell's just going to need a mark in the tenth to win. Important to Harley go spare strike if possible to give himself as much of a chance as he can. We saw that play out in the women's series. You see how much that ball labored to get across the lane to pick up the 10. Still a shot that could have carried for him. It didn't. Cardina is in the driver's seat. In the left lanes that have been Sorrell's bugaboo here in the finals as he was Dutch for almost the entire game over in U17, and it took him longer to strike in the left lane in this match, too. That's good news, since he's about to finish on the right. Importantly, Phil Sten, how much further left that ball got and how much better the result was. Nine misses, 116, 146, 175, 204, 203, so he does have to mark. That's why that fill ball was so important. Just about any mark will do it. Three-time titleist in the main division. He's going to have lots more in his career. He'd like to make it four right on this ball. Post it. No! Oh, wow! What a ringing ten pin. Has to make it. Loses by one if he misses it. Boy, did that six pin just accelerate around the bottom of that ten pin. 
when he posts it completely on balance like that, he doesn't not strike very often. He did miss a 10 pin earlier. This one he must make. Lock it up. Finished his follow through and pumped his fist. He knew he had that one. Yeah, he's got himself four career titles. And almost all the way through the shot, this guy is trying to contain himself by working on uh, the homework there. <laughs> Doing some grading. Well bowled second half of the match by both hey, bowlers. You call it five, right? Luis Cardenas comes away with that win. 215 to 205. Yeah, real nice ball changes in the second half. Somewhere, Nick Devlin breathes a gentle sigh of relief way in the background as he retains the lead for one more day. Carly may catch up tomorrow, Nick may go one, uh, two ahead tomorrow. We'll find out what happens. Good stuff here. We'll be back for the Handicap Division title match in just a